If y'all don't know, for the million sub celebration, we're going to a haunted place. We we played a game of marbles on stream, and the winner got to pick where we go. Mm -hmm. And with that being said, they picked the Myrtles Plantation in Louisiana. And because of that, we're going to watch the ghost of Myrtles Plantation and see what we're up against. Myrtles Plantation is a historic home and former plantation in St. Francisville, Louisiana, that was Saint built Francis by General Hill. David Bradford and is believed to be one of America's most haunted homes in the United States. The house is... In the U.S.? In the U.S.? Reputedly built over an ancient Tunica Indian burial ground. Ah! <laughs> a plantation over an Indian burial ground with probably hundreds of deceased slaves. Where the ghost of a young Native American woman has been seen. The plantation is apparently home to at least 12 ghosts, where it is reported that in its history well, at least 10 homicides occurred well. in the house. The original house was built in 1796 and has 22 rooms spread over two floors. The large entry hall runs the length of the house. Okay, a house with 22 rooms is insane. Well, it's a plantation, but damn. The flooring and most of the windows in the house are original. Oh, the main oh, rooms of the oh. house are found to the right of the hall. The oh, second oh. floor features five bedrooms with ensuite bathrooms, and the largest bedroom is known as the Judge Clark Woodruff Suite. Okay. To the rear of the main house is okay. the oldest structure on the grounds, mm. known as the General Store, which is where General Bradford lived while the main house was being built. Okay. The Myrtles okay. Plantation oh. sits on 600 acres and was named Damn. Laurel Grove. Bradford lived there alone for several years until President John Adams pardoned him for the role in the Pennsylvania Whiskey Rebellion. Careful, Mikey. We natives are insane. Don't get an arrow in your booty meat. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. In 1799. He then moved his wife Elizabeth and their five children <coughs> to the plantation from Pennsylvania. When Bradford passed in 1808, his widow Elizabeth continued running the plantation until 1817, when she handed the management to Clark Woodruff, one of Bradford's former law students. Woodruff Jesus had Christ. married their daughter, Sarah for. Matilda, and had three children. We're done for, bro. It is believed that Woodruff's had a slave called Chloe, where it is claimed that Clark... This is just reminding me of Candyland. Django. This is this, just this one question. Just one question. Right. Why didn't you pick... A slave picture. Why did you use a black woman and <laughs> a black woman is general? <laughs> that is a great question. That is a, it's a random black woman. <laughs> it is believed that Woodruff had a slave called Chloe, where it is claimed that Clark Woodruff had forced Chloe into being his mistress. Oh my God. Another story involving Chloe was that at one time, she was There's plenty of pictures of sla enslaved. There's plenty of drawings, pictures, material, <laughs> stock with, like that you could've used. There's, if there's pictures of Harriet Tubman, there's pictures of slaves. <laughs> Come on, man. Sitting in at a keyhole, and learn news of Clark Woodruff's business and other secret dealings. Chloe was unfortunately caught and one of her ears was cut off and she wore a green turban to hide it. It is claimed that Chloe wait, wait, cut wait, off wait, secret wait, wait, wait. dealings. A keyhole and learn news of Clark Woodruff's business and other secret dealings. Chloe was unfortunately caught and one of her ears was cut off and she wore a green ears? turban to hide it. Ugh. It is claimed that Chloe baked a cake containing oleander leaves, which are extremely poisonous and where it is suspected that she was getting revenge on the Woodruffs. But oh. her plan backfired when only Sarah and her two daughters ate the cake and oh. all passed from the poison. Oh. A mirror located in the house supposedly holds the spirits of Sarah Woodruff and two of her children. Oh. According to custom, mirrors are covered after death, but legend says that after the poisoning of the Woodruffs, this oh. particular mirror was overlooked. 
Oh. The uncovered mirror reportedly trapped the spirits of Sarah and her children, oh. who are occasionally seen or leave handprints in the mirror. Oh, no. Chloe was then oh, no. allegedly hanged by the other slaves and oh. thrown into the Mississippi River as punishment. But like many... So we got Indian burial ground. We got Chloe, who was tortured, got revenge and hung. You got the wife and the two, family, and the two daughters that Chloe offed with the poison. And they don't tell her how many other slaves. I'm not going. And did and did I'm the, not going. Did the did the did the I'm not going. We gotta go. You going. You made this decision. You always we gotta you go. always we you gotta always go. do this elaborate bullshit. I'm not, go. I'm not going. I'm not going. Any historical stories, there is doubt to this one as there is no record of the Woodruffs owning a slave named Chloe or any other slaves, Ooh. that Sarah and her Ooh. two daughters were not poisoned but Ooh. instead succumbed to yellow fever. Okay. However, there might be some facts of the story of Chloe okay. as a young okay. woman wearing a green turban has been seen haunting the plantation. Oh my gosh! When Elizabeth Bradford passed in 1831, Clark Woodruff and his surviving daughter Mary Octavia moved to Covington, Louisiana <coughs> and hired a caretaker to manage the plantation. In 1834, Woodruff sold the plantation to Rough and Gray Sterling, where he and his wife, Mary Catherine Cobb, undertook extensive remodeling of the house, almost doubling the size of the former building, and filled it with imported furniture from Europe. During this period, the name was changed to the Myrtles, after the Myrtles that grew in the vicinity. Sterling passed in 1854 and left the plantation to his wife. During the Civil War, the house was ransacked by Union soldiers and that three of the soldiers were slain in the house. That was all before the Civil oh, fudge! Civil War activity! I forgot about that! Supposedly, there is a bloodstain in the doorway, roughly the size of a human body that cannot be cleaned. The Myrtles amazingly survived the American Civil War, but unfortunately, Come most on. of its furnishings and expensive accessories were Come looted. On. In 1865, on. Mary Cobb Sterling hired William Drew Winter to help manage the plantation, but the family fortune was Come lost on. in the aftermath of the war due to it being tied up in Confederate Come money, on, and she was forced to sell the plantation in 1868, but was able to buy it back two years later. In 1871, William Drew Winter was shot on the porch of the house and staggered inside the house and passed trying to climb the stairs. Where he Aaron, Sam and Dolby went them? here. You can watch their vid if you want to mentally prepare for what's there. Who bust a cap in him on the porch? Collapsed on the 17th Come step on. of the stairs. Apparently, some guests have claimed to have seen his ghost staggering and crawling staggering. up the stairs and stopping on the 17th step. Other visitors and employers in the hotel occasionally hear his last staggering footsteps. In 1880, no Mary Cobb Sterling passed and the plantation was inherited by his son Stephen. But the plantation was heavily in debt and Stephen was eventually forced to sell it in 1889. In 1891, the plantation changed hands several times and was later purchased by Harrison Milton Williams. In the early part of the 20th century, the land around the house was divided among the heirs of Harrison Milton Williams, and in the 1950s, the house itself was sold to a Marjorie Munson. When Marjorie purchased the property, she what noticed happened? strange hauntings happening around oh, the home. Marjorie lived at the property until the 1970s, where okay. it changed hands on several occasions. Nobody in the wanted. 70s, it was purchased by James and Frances Kermine Myers, who ran the plantation property as a bed oh and breakfast. God. The Myers family would themselves experience ghostly events at the plantation and wrote oh. a book titled The Myrtles Plantation, oh. naming it as the most haunted house in America, where the book explores the dark history of the house and the ghostly okay. sightings. So at least, at least, it's just a name that it was given by some owners. They don't really, you know what I'm saying? There's no just proof as, behind it. It's just another book. This is bad. Huh? It sounds just as bad. As what? The fucking other house. The hill? No, the other one. That one should not be named? Yes. 
It just sounds like this one didn't have somebody getting put. <laughs> it's literally. I mean, it's well, like literally just as bad. Just no position. I mean, ain't the, wouldn't that be any haunted place then? Wouldn't that technically be any haunted place? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Just not as infamous. Plantation is also reportedly haunted by a young girl who passed in 1868. Despite being treated by a local voodoo practitioner, she supposedly appears in the room in which she passed and has been seen attempting to practice voodoo on people. Oh my that god. That immediately is where I stopped. Or sleeping in the room. In 2002, <coughs> Unsolved Mistress filmed the segment about the hauntings at the plantation right, where the right. production crew regularly experienced technical difficulties. Over the years, bro, many TV other though, documentary bro. crews on, have visited the Myrtles, including on, the Ghost Hunters in 2005, Ghost Adventure, and Most Terrifying Places in so America. So it is infamous. So it is if, okay. Well, we'll be going there soon. No, we. I mean, we are not. going there soon. You're going. So, uh, <coughs> Yeah, if you lock in and I mean tune in if you want to see what happens, uh, mm -hmm. it'll be on this ghost channel or on the City Boys channel, mm -hmm. one of them. So, yeah. Uh, 